Well, the 911 calls in, came in after another cougar sighting over the weekend. That's right, and this time it's in a relatively busy part of the city. Great. Those calls for help came in just after 5 a.m., which makes sense because cougars are nocturnal animals, but what was this one doing in the city? Tim Becker spent the day finding out. He joins us live now, going beyond the headlines. Tim? Yeah, Jeff, you know, Portland, first of all, this whole metro area has a lot of green space. I'm in one of them. This is the Springwater Corridor. You look over my shoulder to the east, that would be Mount Hood. Beautiful view. I'm going to turn you around 180 degrees to the west. That's the direction the city would be in. Uh, it's about 25, 30 blocks down that way that the sightings were reported yesterday morning. Now, earlier today, I spoke with someone from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. They tell me it is possible, probably not likely, but possible that a cougar could survive in a place like this right here. And I also spoke with one woman who thinks that construction on the reservoir up there on Powell Butte, it's right up there, might have flushed a big cat out. Okay, I'm looking out over the area here. So. Ann Roberts hikes on Powell Butte. So when she heard the reports... Right at 122nd Division, where the crunch gym is, it's full-size cougar ran out in front of me and ran into the neighborhood. It was interesting because I thought, well, 148th and Powell is not that far from 121st and Division. This is off 148th and Powell where Ann hikes. It was here several years ago. She learned something from other hikers. And they said, well, you know, up at the end of the trail here, if you go to the right instead of the left, which is the way I always went, um, you'll see cougar in a den. They are very elusive. Um, the Fish and Wildlife wants some confirmation that it was actually a cougar that callers believe they saw. We're calling because uh, we have a mountain lion in our yard. It's a big old mountain lion. Too. But if that is true, it would suggest to me that that it had wandered in from a green space, that it was confused or lost. I said, oh, well, that's what's happened. They got. Uh, disturbed somehow. Anne's theory? Construction on the Powell Butte Reservoir is what stirred up the den she once heard about and lit up the 911 operator's phone. Uh, where the Wells Fargo Bank is, it was heading up in, into the neighborhood. This thing was huge. Should people be afraid? I don't think so. Okay. I like Okay, uh, you know, uh, the Department of Fish and Wildlife tells me there has never been a documented cougar attack in Oregon. Now, as for information for the 911 callers with the Department of Fish and Wildlife so they can investigate this further, we're going to be sure and follow up and let you know what they find out. For now, reporting live in southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Tim